welcome to this week, the week of January 31st. I am Salome Lackey. And I am Crystal. And this week we are going to be talking about some major, 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 major fights for one, some major transitions for two, and many, many other things that are just surprising us in 2021. The beginning of 2021, this is how we start our year. So yes. uh, we're going to talk about this, uh, this whole little um, fiasco, so-called um, fight between Aaron Carter and Lamar Odom. I think them two crackheads just need a little dough. Go sit down. Nobody want to care about neither one of you. Nick Carter, who even remember Aaron Carter, who even remembers you without your brother name? No one cares about you or your brother. <laughs> and that's hilarious. And Lamar, definitely said Nick Carter first. <laughs> yeah. And then Lamar Odom, like, go away. He is so irrelevant at this point because he has no fiance. He wants to now go back to 2008 when he decided to cheat on Chloe. Like, it's a wrap, dude. It's a wrap. It's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah. So this is definitely, I, I feel like this is definitely their way of pushing themselves back into the media. Would you want to or would you not want to see this fight? I would rather see Wendy Williams do cocaine. That sounds like um, it has definitely been done before. And it sounds <laughs> like it's definitely <laughs> uh, something fun to watch because I clearly remember the last time she did drugs and she got on stage and she had the whole Halloween costume. Yeah. All down was hilarious. Yeah. I mean, meme after meme after meme. But whatever. Uh, Wendy Williams <laughs> also. Her, oh. her biopic. Let's, let's talk about this biopic that came out. Like uh first and foremost just the fact that she said that she stayed with her husband like she was pretty much just playing the role of like I don't know or I'm a good wife for a very very long time and she said this You're is a fool he's a fool yeah. once you started making when he was building her mm -hmm. okay play yeah. the fool she could have left a long time ago built. yeah but once you start yeah. once you've been built and you made a name for yourself Bye, boo. I went through all this to have your son. All of this. And I'm built like a bag of saltines. <laughs> and with some grapes in the front. And no ass in the back. I can understand <laughs> she probably really loved him. But for her to say she knew for 13 years and what broke you was a baby? Mm -hmm. What she broke her should have been the relationship. Exactly. Like, there's always somebody out there who can love you. But she fucked up when she started fucking with Method Man. Now, met the man wife don't seem like she's finna play with her, especially seeing her sister had cancer and she leaked that information before she even told her family. Wendy fucked up. She was good with the biopic. Mm -hmm. But now she done fucked up. I think she really messed up this time. Yeah. I definitely, definitely could be true. Um you know, Wendy Williams, her whole career has been messy. So I don't know if this is like the messiest, messiest part, or there's some more messiness that fans are going to be sitting around like waiting to see. So we'll see how this plays out, uh, what her future is going to look like. Um, we hope that there's not another biopic that's like recreated, like, you know, some of these other biopics of like Princess Diana, like where they want to do it like over and over and over again. Um, but we saw it now. It was enough. Um, I don't, look, it wasn't enough for me. I don't care about her relationship. I want to <laughs> know about the cocaine. I want to know about sleeping around in the club. I want to know about all the celebrities that really got down with the bump and ground what happened behind the scenes. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think she's gonna air that. But well, she should. Like, she found like, everything else. I think she, she she's okay with being somewhat out there with her her business. Um, and and even she said where she was, you know, they were talking about how many people actually busted her out on her show, basically like, mm, you know, Wendy, we know what's going on in your relationship, blah 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 blah, and you know, all the meanwhile, she knew exactly what was going on in her relationship too. She didn't want to, yeah. At that time, she was playing the yeah. girl role, all this other stuff. But I think like that's gonna be as far as it's going to get with Wendy. I don't think that she's actually gonna show that part of the drugs, like. I but I think she should. I think I think somebody who ain't got no problem telling everybody else business. Yeah. I think not 
screams I'm a bad bitch is then doing what a Beyonce did and making a whole fucking album about being cheated on. Making a whole fucking album of saying, yeah, it happened, shit happened, and I bounced back from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wendy, don't nobody care about your show, how you're doing. Yes, you have a show. Nobody care about that. I want to know when the crack started. I want to know what, how high were you when you were the Statue of Liberty and you fell into the water? I want to know. I don't care yeah. about your baby mama. Well, that's just me. That's just me. We'll see. We'll see if she's ever willing to go through all of those details. Um, yeah. I definitely feel like she's going to draw the line. Period. Like, this is it. This is what y'all gonna get. And that's it. But speaking of bouncing back, how about the whole LeBron James fiasco? Of course, I, like, this was crazy. Like, how the, he got into it with, um, her name is Juliana Carlos. Um, yeah. She is married um, to a basketball player, obviously. Um, they don't look the same age, obviously. No. But no comment she looks like a russian bride i'm gonna say it you don't gotta say it well yeah absolutely she, she's i love my first of all I, here's my thing like uh, filters are so dope filters are cool i love the artistic yeah. side of filters i love the little bacon the animals sit on your shoulder and you know all this extra stuff love it love it love it to the max but like you're talking about how much you are not a gold digger, but your whole video is like diamonds and bling, like all over your face. Like, what's the big deal with that? Like, yeah. um, and 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 then like you're you're making a video to basically explain what happened. Like, why do you need to use filters right now? Like, just be uh, like, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. Like, let's have a real conversation. I don't need the animation to get into what you're saying. Well, I mean, it's like Instagram famous people and tiktok famous you know but outside of the video they have a regular life they're a no nothing life and she wants the world to feel like she's got bling and she's got this she's not a person that had can't had her own money and then married into more money you mm -hmm. married a basketball player you have every right if you have an old man fetish like yeah. she has but yeah. when you mess it with lebron which is the new michael jordan be prepared for the backlash. See, she thought yeah. she was going to get on there and be like, I love my husband, but he was wrong. No, no he wasn't. Sit your ass down. No. no. And then it's, it's it, to me also, it's just like, <laughs> I, I personally, and I don't know if this is necessarily true, but, yeah. you know, it, there's a way to have your husband's back. You don't have to start verbalizing um, in front of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah dudes have their words back to back let him let him be the man so i mean it it, it says a lot like yeah you know your mouth but i mean nervous. that takes me back to when people tell when men tell each other don't get in no bitch fight stay out of a bitch's argument mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was a bitch move she pulled and i don't know if we could curse on him my bad but that was a that was a donkey smooth for her yeah she 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 should have been seen not heard at that moment if she wanted to talk smack later, okay. But you've made a whole scene that now keeps getting played back on Sports Center and everything else. And we don't know how her husband's career is. Maybe he is up there. Maybe he's not up there. Maybe he has a potential not to be brought back again because now you don't know your place. Mm -hmm. She just need to go sit down. And on that note, she could have took a whole lesson from Cicely Tyson, oh, my which girl. is uh, epically sad. Girl. Like she's definitely the woman that, first of all, I just just never fathom like she's gonna transition. Like that's that has never yeah. been a thought in my head. Like this this lady was so vivacious but yet so graceful so classy so knowledgeable yeah. like she poured into um the crap. of women the minds of people in general just like with inspiration with grace you never heard a a, a messy story you never saw some oh. you know jacked up photo or anything like that and so dang you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> she had she had the spirit of Maya Angelou but the umph of Eartha Kitt 
Yeah. You know, she had the grace of Dorothy Dandridge, but she was herself. You knew when you saw her, this was going to be a quality movie with a meaning. Yeah. And I just feel so bad to my boo thing, my cheating man, you know, Tyler Perry. If Tyler, if you're out there, I'll take you. Uh -huh. His heart was broken. It was yeah. irrevocably broken. He loved her so much. And I just think it was so sweet that celebrities aren't doing what we see now. Mm -hmm. where somebody passes away and it's oh i remember she gave me a porsche i remember we went to aspen it was more there everybody's okay. talking about her yeah. and her character yeah and you know i just pray and i feel for her family because even though she was in her 90s you know mm -hmm. we're all selfish we want to keep you around forever you know but she's made a great a great pivotal landmark on everyone's lives everyone yeah. has a movie she's been in that we can relate to that touched us and I just, you know, I just feel for her family and I just pray that, you know, she's in a peaceful space right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, and, and it's, yep, we feel so bad for her family, obviously. So we send our condolences out to her family. Um, I, I feel like Hollywood just, um, we've learned, they've learned so much from her, you know, yeah. we've learned so much from her in, in general. Um, I just can't, there's not going to be another Cicely Tyson. However, she's always going to like live on. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. She, she, she's always going to live on because I, I, that's just one person that you, if you wanted to see something inspiring. You yes. could go back and watch her videos. Like, yes, yes. Just, just to even listen to her speak in an interview. Mm -hmm. She'd exactly. make you think. But I'm just so sad. You see, we keep losing everyone mm -hmm. these last couple months. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just too much. I just, you know, um, I'm just wondering. I don't know if you've seen it, but Tyler Perry has made a spinoff, an adult spinoff of The Oval Office. Mm -hmm. I've only seen a couple episodes. Mm -hmm. But there's a controversial sex scene that he's got going on that's really making me wonder if Tyler feeling okay, where the man is sitting in the chair, mm -hmm. getting himself prepared. I'm just gonna say prepared. Okay. And there's a woman next to him flogging someone attached to a, a rope. And as she's flogging her, she mm -hmm. sits, the other one sits on his lap and they commence to doing what they need to do to satisfy him. And I'm just hoping this is not a valid video that he has made because it just takes you past everything he's ever preached about, about women equality and sexism and abuse. It just took it a little too far for me. Just, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. So we're looking into where Tyler, Tyler Perry is going in the future with uh, a lot of the shows because, um, even watching sisters, it's it's it there's a lot going on. There's like yeah. I don't know if he's just like jumping into his realm of, you know, this is this is what's happening. You know, I'm just gonna give you guys the raw up front, like, but yeah. It's, it's, I think Tyler just needs to get a camera and record videos, talk to himself and get things off his chest because it's something going on, baby. Deep in his mindset. And he is a creative genius. Yeah, he but, is. Um, he pushing it. Even for yeah. Tyler, he pushing it. I don't know if it's because his relationship ended. You know, he's single now. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Any of these shows have just like been in the back of his vault. And he's just now getting to the point of saying, hey, you know, I'm, I, I don't know if I wanted to ever release this, but now I do, you know, like what yeah. brought him to that decision to, to go this far in debt or like go this route? Like, um, I mean, it's definitely something there because we, we're, we're used to Medea, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're used to watching movies where he's given a, a, a story about something yeah, a deeper oh, meaning why right, I get like married. A bit more triumphant in a, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? This hopeful type of... And now we're in the Tyler... If this is his vision, he just needs to make his own Tyler Perry's Pornhub because that was some Pornhub slavery-ass <laughs> shit that just didn't sit... Have you ever watched something and you need to watch it again to make sure that you're not overthinking what you watched? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was like... Oh, 
okay, this is the deeper side of Sears. Okay, I see what it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, well, do you I think we're going to get this money? This, I think we are. I don't think we're going to have issues like we were having before. It's a possibility. I think I, we, I'll take whatever. But even, is. you know, even before where people were talking about, like, you know, I've, I've had conversations with people before and talking about the second stimulus. Then people were like, oh, we're not going to get it in blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, we're going to get it. It definitely is a crisis. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, people really need this money. Like they really yeah. need this money. So at this point, in order for a lot of businesses to survive, because we're seeing so many businesses close down, you're going to have to circulate that cash, right? Yeah. It's, not, gonna have, um, I, we, we, it's not being taken from anybody. The, the funds yeah. are going to be circulated. They're going to go, th they're going to go through this person's hands and go back into the store. They're, they're basically, you know, um, in a sense, operating not not on a susu i don't want to stay on a susu even though susus are very beneficial um they're not operating on a susu but it is that um i'm i'm pouring into you so you can pour back into me type of situation. absolutely um so i don't know why people you know some people look at it like negatively but it's, it's not negative like this is something yeah. necessary to continue um within this economy. Other, otherwise, people are not going to have money to pour into anything. People are going to go broke. And then people mm -hmm. are going to start starving. And, and stealing um, and robbing. Black, and then there's going to be more crime. There's going to be more death. There's going to be so much more tragic situations happening because of poverty. Exactly. So, now, do you think it's fair that the people who don't qualify for the stimulus think it's wrong that the government is helping people who are lower than them as far as income. No, because most of those people who don't qualify, they own something. They're going to get the money anyway. Exactly. Like, but the people who are getting the stimulus checks, they're going to give it right back to you. So just be yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, they're going to give it right back to you. And Somehow, some way. To be, to be honest, like, uh, what you going to do with all this? Buy another house, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna splurge on some alcohol, have some more parties at your crib, you wanna fly to Cabo. Um, you can do that. Let yeah. them, just let them hand you the money back. Like it's that's that's all it is. It's not, you know, for it just, it just else, I would people. rather I would I would personally rather be that person on the other side who doesn't need the money versus the people who do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I don't want to need stimulus money. I don't think anybody wants to need stimulus money. So just Absolutely. be patient. We're gonna get it right back. Like it it just is what it is. These we're gonna get it right back. <laughs> we can Absolutely. Absolutely. No How are you feeling about our new president? And what he's done in these last, what, two and a half weeks compared to what 45 had done in his first 100 days. He walked in like, check, 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 sign this, sign this, sign this, yes. let's get this done. Yes. Mental procrastination is real. <laughs> Recognizing your priorities are real. You know what I'm saying? Organization is real it's like that former administration was too strong out on bringing on more bigotry not like it did not exist but yeah. um it was a, a huge division yeah and it was flame. you know what i'm saying and this is a unification like the fact that they're working to actually get these get people back um the immigrants back with their families yeah. um you know, I, I, I is there are proper ways to go about things. The way that things were done is not proper. You don't first, first of all, you don't rip families apart. Um, no. That's number one. There's ways to go about it. Oh, okay, you don't like that this immigrant is in this program first. That's fine. Well, then don't give it to them first. You offer this. Change the rules, change the laws, but you don't like break families apart. And then we're going through pandemic and then there's people dying. So who's to say that, that how many immigrants had to actually leave and come back and their loved one is not alive anymore or 
a, 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 a someone who is not an immigrant was separated from their immigrant parent that passed away and they are, and not only did they go through that traumatic moment of being separated from the person that's grooming them that loved them and now they're in this concentration camp but now you you know that's the last time yeah it, yeah it, it's it's too many issues too many issues with that last administration too yeah many. i think there's too many freaks in this world that you have all these children in one spot with no one watching them no one yeah. helping them oh, no one being there them. After- First of all, there's people watching them. Those creeps who definitely the freaks. Their hands the on freaks the are watching them. One grown man wants to sit in the concentration camp, and I'm calling it a concentration camp regardless of whatever yeah. people say. It is Auschwitz. One grown man wants to sit in the concentration camp with a whole bunch of kids without any type of um, plans. Like Exactly. And no one's believing these children because they are saying they're lying. You know, I, I'm sorry. You'd have had to kill me and my kids because I, I no, we all go. You know what? And, and 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 to be honest, it's not the the fact that they don't believe them. It's the fact that they don't even want to try to seek evidence because that's just the that's the test right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why did you not? If if this child is claiming that this X Y Z happened, why are you not getting them tested to find out? Yeah, because they don't care. Because yeah, they feel they like it's just it's care. just a problem. It's one yeah. less child. Yeah. You know, and the way I look at it is if you can't imagine your own child being taken away from you while you get something in order and your affairs in order, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be able to do that to another person. I'm Absolutely. sorry. I am so sorry. Like, so we're running out of time. So tell us what, tell everybody what they can look forward to this year on this week. What kind of things do we have coming? We have everything that you guys give us to offer. Um, We're going to be doing more call-ins. That's another thing because we definitely want to hear your opinion about some of these topics. Um, And we're just going to, you know, stay on point with the hottest, the latest, the biggest, the most epic, the funniest, (laughs) the most craziest. (laughs) Yeah. Um, issues that are coming up day to day, politics, entertainment, fashion. We we're all across the board. Just tune in. And I know you guys are wondering. I do want to give a shout out to someone because I saw up some people. Okay. <laughs> I, I I'm gonna do better, you guys. Like my light <laughs> is always like really really dark. I know that. <laughs> no, yeah, girl, I, you I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally okay. gonna do better this year. But the reason I still have my Christmas tree up is because. First of all, my favorite artist says that we don't have to remove our Christmas trees until the 4th of July. If you know who that is, (laughs) (laughs) if you know who that is, but I got my ring light. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Chris Winfield on Jan Gottlieb for this amazing gift. Thank you. It's not good. I'm take down my Christmas tree, officially, <laughs> and every other Christmas decoration here, because I want to get it tuned up for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's just another day. We're like, gonna have to oh. talk about that next week, because we're is gonna talk about that next week. What do you guys feel about Valentine's Day? Are you here for it or are you not? I'd rather get a colonoscopy, but we'll get into that next week. <laughs> I mean, you can get a colonoscopy on Valentine's Day. Who's performing the procedure? Sure, oh hell, it might as well be my husband. <laughs> might as well. Until next time, you guys, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.